Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, we'll be making a wine rack. This wine rack is an easy project which you can complete in less than 20 minutes. It's great for display shelf for wine lovers. It's great as a gift. Uh, please do try this project. It's very easy and you're gonna enjoy it. Here's the list of the tools and the materials that you're gonna need for this build. Please remember your safety glasses too. Get pumped up and let's get ready to build. For this easy wine rack, you're going to need 7 different woodcuts and I'm going to put on the description box the different woodcuts that I use for this build. The assembly of this wine rack is very easy, so we're going to do it in 3 different phases. Um, the first phase that we're going to do is just to pre-drill our woodcuts. You know I'm an advocate of pre-drilling, this will save your life, it's much more convenient for you to pre-drill your woodcut before you can do anything. Please do it. For the structure of the wine rack, we're going to need the six different pieces which we're going to put together and they're going to form a V shape. So basically the two pieces that I'm joining, uh, they're basically about, there's a difference of about 26 millimeter between them. So this is going to help so that your V must be in a proper uh, a form. Because I've already pre-drilled my woodcut, the next step that I did was just to put everything together. The screws that I used are about 30 millimeter screws uh, and then I put three different screws on the straight line position um, to make sure that my joint is tight and strong. After you're done putting the two wood cuts together, so the final product will have a shape of an L or you can even call it a V shape. So you have to repeat this process about three times until you have three different shelves um, for your wine rack. And please remember to put wood glue between the two mating surfaces uh, so that your bond must be, must be strong and tight. After you're done putting everything together, you should have three similar shelves which are in a form of a L shape or you can even call it a V shape. So now it's time to use the longer part to join the three pieces together. This is going to be your base of the wine rack. Please take your time while you're putting everything together in this phase. It's very important that you have everything all aligned and in a straight line position. Because if, for example, your things are not in the same straight line or same distance, your rack is not going to be balanced. The space between the shelves was about 30 millimeters between them and make sure that it's the same distance on the other side. So the next phase that I did was just to put markings on where I was going to pre-drill my wood and then put the joinery of those screws together. I find it very easy for me to put markings physically because if I just eyeball it, I end up making mistakes. So please, if you're good at eyeballing, go ahead and do it. But for me, I, I always put markings on the way to pre-drill before. Um, and another tip, uh, just make sure that uh, when you're pre-drilling, you put about three screws so that the wine rack should be balanced. If you're loving our content, please do tell me in the comment section below and please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. So the trick here is to make sure that your wood part, especially the base, must not shift around. So what I did, um, which is an old man's trick, was just to use my elbow to put pressure down when I was pre-drilling and also putting screws together so uh, I couldn't figure out how to put clamps here so I decided to do the old school way and just put my elbow down and put pressure on it so if you have your measurements correctly and properly done you should be able to put the screws properly so what I realized is that one of my screws was not properly done so it means that my measurements were a bit off so when you're doing this please don't make the same mistakes I did just make sure that your your measurements are accurate and they are on point so basically the whole frame of the wine rack is done so what you need to do is just to send down your wood cut so here's another tip um, I would advise that you send down your wood cuts prior to you putting everything together because it was a bit complex for me to send down and go into the joints of the uh, wine rack. So please do uh, send down your wood cut prior to you put assembling everything. So to send everything together, I use a sanding block, which is a cheaper version of an electric sander. So this is great to go into, especially when you're working with a small project like this. It's very great to go within the smaller surfaces as well. Mm -hmm. 
now we're coming to the easy part which is basically putting my stain together so as always i put two different wood stains together i'm going to put them on the description of the different stains that i used um i wanted something um different because I, I you know i always love experimenting with paint and stains and everything so i wanted something dark something different because i love darker colors so with the stain it's easy to apply you can also use paint as well you can even leave it neutral it's beautiful as neutral as it is so i wanted a darker stain so it's beautiful and i love how it turned out after you're done staining your wine rack wait for a couple of hours until fully dry then you can start putting on the support hooks put as many as you want for stability this is a good easy project once you've tried this please do tell me how it turns out what modifications you've made uh, this is an easy beautiful project i don't drink wine so i use mine as a water cooler support and um, this is amazing this is beautiful and until next time thank you so much for tuning in cheers bye